I want to take you to school with me for a little while. Uh, I've got a few questions that I want to ask. You see, because life is a learning process. And, you know, in the learning process, there is usually some type of an assessment or an exam that is given to individuals in order for us to assess where we are. Brother Jeremy, I love that terminology that you use today. It says, understand where you're starting, then understand where you are, then you can understand where you're going. So we need to know where we start so that we can then understand where we are and then to, to know where we're going. Most of us today are here primarily because we want to go to heaven. Amen? Amen. You want to go to heaven. Don't worry about those questions. I'm going to read them to you here in a minute. They're going to be on this big board. Praise God. And so we, we want to go to heaven. That is our goal. That is our objective this morning. And so I would say to you, well, by what means do you propose you're going to get there? For some, it's just, well, what I feel. And for others, it's what I think. But for Jesus Christ, it is going to be based on what you know and what you do with what you know. If I think I am in New York and I want to go to Europe, I promise you I will have difficulties getting there while I stand and reside in Los Angeles. Right. So I must first realize where I am. I must make an assessment of where I am in order to then propel myself in the direction that I must go. And so this morning, I want to do uh, a little something different as I close this morning with you. Uh, I want you to take a entrance exam with me into Bible 101. I want you to take an assessment test with me this morning as we ask some simple questions that uh, we that have an overwhelming bearing on your entrance into that promised land. We have, everybody has one? Okay. There are multiple choice. I've made it easy for you. Praise God. And so this will really either tell me how much I know or how bad I really am at guessing from four answers. Praise God. The first question is, what must we do to have eternal life? Or to become saved. Nothing. Because we are saved by grace. You can circle your answer. Mark it. If you don't have a pen, just put it in your mind or share a pen. B. Ask God into our hearts. C. Be born again. Or D. Both A and B. You were here this morning, you got the answer in my Bible study, but we'll see how well you remember. In question two, it says, to be born again, what must we do? Ask Jesus into our lives. Be born of water and of spirit. To be born of spirit and of truth. Or to surrender ourselves to the spirit. Mark your answers. You like all you know that sound, huh? Question number three. Being born of water is natural birth, the amniotic fluid that you are conceived in, being sprinkled upon by water, being baptized in water by immersion, or D, either B or C. Question four. Being born of spirit is being baptized with the Holy Ghost, receiving Jesus Christ into your life. It happens at baptism, or D, it happens at natural birth. Amen. 
But then the heads bowed down real long, I'm thinking, oh no. <laughs> Question number five. This is fun. What is the initial evidence that one has received the Spirit of God? We went to school on this one this morning. They start acting and talking differently. B, they change friends. C, they speak in an unknown tongue. Or D, none of the above. Make your selections. Final tabulations. And the last question, how must we be baptized? In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. B, in the name of Jesus. C, it doesn't matter, it's an act of faith. D, any of the, the above. Amen. Does everybody have their answers? Amen. Everybody has their answers. Praise God. Okay. Now the assessment. And here is what I want to share with you. In these six questions that I asked you, every one of them is relevant to your passing and failing an entrance into the kingdom of God. You see, in this exam, it is a do or don't. Yes or no. In or out. Unlike the questions of life, and if you've seen school and education today, uh, the big theme is no one left behind. Right? That's our big educational mantra. No one left behind. And I am for that. However, there does come a place when a child cannot go forward until he first understands the lessons to be learned where they are. Because we push kids through the educational process, they get out, and we have professional athletes that don't know multiplication. You put them in front of a microphone and they, can, they can't speak uh, proper English because they have not been taught proper grammatical usages. And so they're up there saying, ain't no thing going to hold me back. And I don't know where you're from, but when I was there, I mean, you just get, it's a butcher job. And it's sad to think that these are college graduates. And my son can point out words uh, that he, we don't say that. that. That's not right. Amen. So you you understand what I'm what I'm what I'm saying today. And, and so as I go over these answers with you, I only want to do this to help you in understanding that coming to the full understanding of salvation is very critical. Coming to a full understanding of what it takes to get into heaven is a vital consequence because I will never be able to stand there before God and say, I didn't know. That will not be an answer for God Almighty. So we're going to go to question number one. And know this, we must have everybody have 100% very soon. If you don't have 100%, Saturday, Thursday night, 7 o'clock here, we are going to help you. If you don't have every question right, Thursday night, I mean a Sunday morning, 10 o'clock, we're going to help you. If you don't get every question right, you tell us what day, and we will get a Bible study into your home. Because we're going to get this perfected. Amen? We want everybody to get faithful servant, enter ye into the joy of the Lord. Question number one. What must we do to have eternal life and to become saved? Is it A? Is it B? Is it C? The answer is C. We must 
be born again. 